In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the point of intersection between two lines. So what do I mean? Now you've got L1. Sorry, this is L1, which has the equation of 3x plus 2. And L2 has the equation of 3x minus 11. And L1, L1 and L2 are not intersecting because they are parallel. Now if you look at this is L2 and L3 are intersecting at 4, 1. So point of intersection of L2 and L3 is 4, 1. Now we want to find the inter point of intersection of L1 and L3. In my previous videos, I proved how to get L2 and L3. So in this video, I want to focus on finding this x, comma y. That is the intersection between L1 and L3. Let us do it algebraically and then we'll check it on a calculator. So what do we know? So we know, uh, let me use a green color, L1 has an equation of y is equal to 3x plus 2. And L3 has an equation of y is equal to negative x over 3 plus 7 over 3. And you want to find the point of intersection between x, L, L1 and L3. Now to explain the next step, I'm going to show you one simple logic, which is all of you can understand. Suppose, let me make up a number. Suppose 12 is equal to 10 plus 2. Do you agree? 10 plus 2 is 12. And 12 can I also write as 8 plus 4. So from this to... I can make a new statement like this, that 10 plus 2 is equal to 8 plus 4. Okay, so if you love logic, you should love maths because it's a very logical subject. So can, I, can you see where am I going? I'm saying 12 can be written as 10 plus 2 and 12 can also be written as 8 plus 4. So 10 plus 2 again is 12 is 8 plus 4. So can I use this logic here? Okay, so let me bring back my green color. So y, compare y with 12 and 3x plus 2 with 10 plus 2. Then again compare y with 12 and this with 8 plus 4. So using the same logic, I can say 3x plus 2 is equal to minus x over 3 plus 3. Oh, sorry, plus 7 over 3, plus 7 over 3. Now, I don't want this 3. This 3 is annoying. Okay, so I want to get rid of this 3. So how can I get rid of this 3 and this 3? So, well, I can say, okay, what happens if I multiply, I can, I if I multiply by 3, this and 3, this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. So I'm going to multiply this also with 3. But you can't do anything on one side on, to one term. You can't be biased. So you have to multiply this with 3 and this with 3. So everyone is happy. Okay. So multiply each of this with 3. So no one is unhappy. So let me change the color. So what will happen now? So 3x times 3 is 9x plus 2 times 3 is 6. 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. So it's negative x. So this and this also gets cancelled plus 7. Okay, let me scroll down. So let me cancel this. Okay. So what will happen? Okay. So tell me the next step. Think about the next step. I want to bring the isolate the x's on one side and the numbers on the other side. That means I want to bring the x's on the left hand side and the numbers on the right hand side. So I want to get rid of this negative x. So what is opposite of negative x? Okay, that is plus x. So if you do plus x on one side, you have to do plus x on the other side. Now I want this is so this and this will get cancelled. So this is called isolating x is on one side. Now I want to bring the numbers on the right hand side. So you've got a number on the left hand side which is six. So what is opposite of plus six, which is minus six. So if you do minus 6 on this side, you have to do minus 6 on this side. So let me draw a line. So this is 
two sides of an equation. Okay, so let me use a green color. Okay, so this and this gets cancelled. So this is 10x is equal to this and this gets cancelled is equal to 1. So let me do the cancellation with a black color. So this and this gets cancelled. Okay, so now I can say I can divide this side by 10. So I'd also divide this side by 10, which implies x is 1 over 10. I hope you know is 0 0.1. Okay, so the x value of the point of intersection would be 0 0.1. Now, what do we know of what do we know about y? So we've got two equations of y. You can use this or this. This is, seems to be easier, so I'll use that. So I can say now y, I'll rewrite the equation, y is equal to 3x plus 2. I'm going to put this into this equation. So y is equal to 3 times 0 0.1 plus 2. So this is equal to 3 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.3 plus 2. So y is equal to 2.3. So we can say the point of intersection. So point of intersection of L1 and L3 is equal to x is 0 0.1 comma 2.3 so let me sh show you on a calculator so go to shortcut menu graph that is pi so the first equation was i remember that as 3x plus 2 and the second equation was minus x divided by 3 plus 7 divided by 3 just like that and then graph it so these are the, the perpendicular. Can you see? They are mutually perpendicular or vertical. And you go G solve, and this is called intersection. So the intersection is 0 0.1, x value is 0 0.1, and y is 2.3. See you in the next video.